do ba do do hello everybody um i'm back back again this is the thursday before halloween otherwise known as thur halloween no i don't think it has a name i don't think that it should have a name but it doesn't um, um, so I'm going to do a couple, I'm going to do a few Halloween-y type songs today, because it occurred to me that, you know, would almost be a theme. Sometimes I have trouble kind of figuring out what I want to do. So I did that. Lots of big things happening for this stream. Uh, you might have noticed if you follow me on Facebook, I put on new strings. I don't do that very often. Um, and it's not even because I'm cheap, which I am. I am cheap. It's, it's because I'm lazy. Sometimes it's hard to tell if I'm not doing something because I'm cheap or if I'm lazy, but this one is definitely because I'm lazy. I just can't bother, but I did. Listen to that. Listen to how bright. Oh, hey, Mentor's already uh, here. Thur Halloween Eve. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. Yeah, that sounds like a thing. So that's what uh, we're celebrating through Halloween Eve right now together. Listen to that. See how bright that is? So bright. Yep, it's a whole new world. Whole new world till they get all dull again. Brightness doesn't usually last for too long. But anyway, nice and shiny for now. Uh, well, I, why don't I start in a song? Well, I'll start a song. Wait for some more people to come. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm going to start with... I'm gonna st I'll start with my Tom Petty song. I'm talking about, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, Kyle can't can't stay. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I got my hair cut, too. I, was, I wanted to save that for later, but I guess people noticed already. I wanted to... Yeah, I guess that doesn't really work as something to save for later. Uh, oh, Jennifer was... Uh, Kat threw up a hairball and was going to record it for me to add to the song. That would be very nice. Oh, I have some stuff to talk about for the recording of the song, too. That was just... Anyway... I'm going to start with a song. I'm going to start with a song. I'm going to get my uh, do my Tom Petty song. Uh, I was trying to think of any Tom Petty songs that could be Halloween-y. And there is one. Uh, I think it was on Full Moon Fever. No, it was not a hit. Not the best song on the album, but it is kind of Halloween. I mean, it's still a good song. It's still Tom Petty, right? Uh, I've never played this one before. So let's give this one a whirl. Get some verb going there. down the street, they're standing in line with white lipstick and one thing on their mind. Hey, little freak with a lunch pail purse underneath the paint. You're just a little girl dancing at the zombie zoo. Dancing at the zombie zoo. Painted in a corner and all you gotta do is dance down at the zombie zoo. Cute little dropper, how come you pack a ride? Is your mother in a clinic? Your father got no job, sometimes you're so impulsive You shave off all your hair, you look like Boris Carla And you don't even care, you're dancing at the zombie zoo You're dancing at the zombie zoo Painted in a corner, and all you want to do Is dance down at the zombie zoo She disappears at sunrise, I wonder where she goes until the night Falling down again, she shows up with her friends, have a lie. Dancing at the zombie zoo. Dancing at the zombie zoo. Well, you can make a big impression, you go through life unseen. You might end up restricted and over 17. It's so hard to be careful, so easy to be led. Somewhere beyond the pavement, you'll find the living dead. Dancing at the zombie zoo. Dancing at the zombie zoo Painted in a corner and all she wants to do Is dancing at the zombie zoo I think it goes on for a little longer than that, but I think I think it was the right amount of zombie zoo. Zombie zoo by Tom Petit. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look. Anything going on in the chat? Anything going on in the chat? 
do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, so lots of stuff happening here. Uh, it's the end of the month, so I had to uh, record songs because uh, I'm doing um, a cat song every month, every month, and I sort of recorded Hairball. Then I also have to record, a, it's my turn to do a uh, worm song, so I'm just I'm halfway through recording a song. I'm going to debut it here today. Yeah, because you're here for the stream. You'll get to hear it anyway. Uh, not the recording, of course, the high-quality recording. You'll have to wait. Um, oh, still got the reverb on. There we go. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, but I was recording Hairball. I had it pretty much all done. All done. I just had to add one or two little things to it. And then, I don't know, the gremlins got in there. And, like, all my f different files went missing. And some of the tracks I laid down disappeared. And I spent two hours trying to fix it. And I accomplished nothing. Maybe I might have even accomplished negative amounts. I think I might have made things even worse. The problem is I'm learning some new... Um, Music software. I say new music software, but I should just say music software. I've never properly learned to use any music software. Uh, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And obviously, uh, I guess that matters sometimes. Sometimes, I guess, if you don't know what you're doing, bad things happen. Uh, yeah. So, but fortunately, I had recorded, I had like done a premix of it. And I just kept that because I just, I, I just, I had lost it. Yeah. So that was fun. That was lots of fun. I love tech. Technology is great until it isn't. And then it's not great at all. But uh, I put up Hairball for the uh, Patreon people yesterday or the day before, two days ago, maybe. So if you're on my Patreon, that's awesome. And if you're not on my Patreon, uh, that's fine, too. That's fine, too. You'll hear it later. You'll hear it later. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Yeah, so that was that exciting thing. Um, so I got some song. Maybe I'll do another song. I got some questions, too. Uh, but maybe I'll do Oh, here we go. I'll do Vance the Vegetarian Zombie. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm doing Write a Song with Trevor tonight. If you want to come to that, uh, I'll post the link up after the song. And we're going to write a Halloween song, me and whoever shows up. Uh, uh, still lots of tickets available. Maybe we'll end up with, with a song kind of like this. This is uh, one of the... They are gonna, I was trying to look for how many kind of halloweeny songs we have we don't have a lot but we got a few we got a few that i could pull out today i should have put on a funny hat i've got some funny halloween hats somewhere oh my god could add a little production value to this show zombie 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 the zombie apocalypse was a great time for all of the zombies but one. They devoured the living and chewed on the brains, but Vance never had any fun. Vance the vegetarian zombie never ate any brains. Vance the vegetarian zombie walked around screaming, Grains! Grains! One time a zombie killed a man, ripped the head right off him, took a bite, passed it to Vance, who said, Is there a vegetarian option? Vance the vegetarian, zombie never ate any brains. Vance the vegetarian, zombie thought eating human wasn't humane. All of the other zombies used to laugh and call him names like and they all sort of sounded the same Vance the Vegetarian Zombie never ate any brains and they never let poor Vance see join in any zombie games he cried so hard his eyes popped out and that's when he spotted Regan she had beautiful bowels and long flowing skin, but most important, she was a vegan. Vance the Vegetarian, zombie never ate any brains. Vance the Vegetarian, zombie gave Regan his heart and some veins. Vance the Vegetarian, zombie never ate any brains. Vance the Vegetarian, 
Some bee walked around screaming, walked around screaming, walked around screaming, grains! Ba 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 da ba ba! There we go, Vince, the vegetarian zombie, by the Aryan Worms, right there. Do do do! Ah, let's check see what's going on in the chat. Oh, I meant to change the color of the chat. I wonder if I could still do that. It's not really working for me. Hey, it's hard to read. Don't you think it's hard to read? How do I do this? Here we go. Open source properties. Let's see what happens there, everyone. Uh, font settings, text color. Let's change that. Let's change the text color. How do I do that? How do I change the text color? Oh, there we go. This this one. Okay. Uh, did that do something? Here did that go? Oh, I eliminated it. Great. Jesus, what is wrong with me? I got, uh, I'm going to fire, I have to fire another assistant. What happened there? I changed the text. Oh, my God. Oh, is it going now? Is it going now? There it goes. Hey, that looks better, hey? Can you read that better? I did it right. Phew. I almost panicked and tried to adjust it before I noticed that I... Okay, started the text over. Okay. I'm so quick to doubt myself. Do okay, good. So there we go. Awesome. That's a little easier. Yeah, it's easier to read, isn't it? That's easier to read. Just want to help everyone out here. I'm trying to be helpful with my technological savvy, which I have very little of. Yeah, and I sent out a I got another one of my Zoom shows in two weeks, and I sent out you know my news Trevor and I put the wrong link in it. I was going, why isn't anyone signing up? Usually there's a like, couple of people who jump on early and it makes me feel good. I was like, oh, great. I have at least two people who are coming to come to, come to my show. And like no one was. And I was going, oh, maybe this is it. Maybe this is how it ends. This is how it ends. People have given up on me. And no, I just didn't put the link in. I mean, people might still give up on me, actually. It's still possible. Uh, I guess... Do, 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 do. Should I do another song? Should I? I have some. No, I got some questions to answer. People sent me a couple of questions in ahead of time. Um, I don't think Beverly is here yet, so I'm not going to answer her question. Um, Paul. Paul, does he show up sometimes? Sometimes. I, maybe I'll read his question. What is the largest audience you've ever played? And part two is, and how was that experience? So the largest audience. I've played, and it was an Arrogant Worm show twice, actually. We, twice we played uh, Canada Day in Canada at Parliament Hill. That's where the old buildings are. Uh, you might remember it from the trucker convoy. It got very famous, Parliament Hill, from that. Uh, but it's actually been there for quite a while. Um, we played that. We did that twice, and I, it's hard to get the exact number. I think there were around 100,000 people there both times. Um, and you would think that would be hard playing in front of a whole bunch of people like that. But once people get, once you get a certain size of crowd, they don't, they stop becoming like individuals. You can't, your mind can't register. It's just like, like, a, like a background, right? Like, like a backdrop or something. Um, and it was Canada day. So it was easy. Like if you wanted to get a reaction, I don't think most people were paying any attention whatsoever. They're all just drunk and burning in the sun. But if you wanted a reaction to feel better, you go Canada and everyone goes, Aah! you get to hear that. So I did, we did that a couple of times. Hey, Canada. Aah! Um, so it was pretty fun. It was a lot of fun. Actually, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and it was a good experience. We enjoyed it. Uh, we haven't been back recently, though, unfortunately. Um, yeah. And hopefully. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. We sh I, I really think we should be a part of more official events in Ottawa. Really. I mean, yeah. We've been trying to replace the National Anthem for years, and no one's ever taken any of our anthems instead. So that was, uh, that was Paul's question. That's a good question. Um, yeah. The biggest, I think, indoor show... You didn't ask this, Paul, but I, I'm on a roll. Uh, the biggest indoor show, I think, was probably our symphony show where we had close to 2,000 people in Edmonton at the symphony show. I think that's our biggest in, like, I think it is. Yeah. We've done lots of festivals where there's like 5,000 people or something like that. Uh, five, 10,000. Uh, but indoor, yeah, I think around 2,000. There. There. I feel like I've completed that. 
Uh, people talking about the chat delay. That's nice. They probably, you guys are probably talking about the chat delay like forever ago. Yeah. And now I'm just mentioning it now, which makes it extra funny. Full half minute on YouTube, someone's saying. They probably said that a half minute ago. Do, do, do. Yeah, so I stream this to the multi stream, the Arrogant Worms YouTube, and then my Facebook page. And then the main page is Twitch. That's probably why it's quicker on Twitch. Anyway, okay. I'm going to go back. I, I think that was enough time talking. I'll probably do that. sing a song now. You're always welcome to put questions in the chat. If, uh, hopefully I'll notice some of them if that happens. Do What else was I going to do today? Do I do the new song? Oh, not yet. I'll do the new song at the half hour mark because that, that's usually when I have peak, peak attendance. Yeah, peak attendance. Um, uh, what do I want? I want to do this. I want to do this one here. Okay, came up with this. Okay, here we go. It's Halloween, so um, I'm going to... I think I'm contractually obligated to sing this one, uh, this song. But I, was, I wanted to give it a bit of a different... I wanted to give it more of a Springsteen feel than it usually gets, because I think it works well as a Bruce... better as a Bruce Springsteen song. So, uh, happy, happy Thursday Halloween. Here we go. <clears throat> I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld a new recite for my monster from his slam began to rise and suddenly to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash, the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. From my laboratory in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. The ghouls all came from their humble abodes to catch a jolt from my legs. True, he did the mash. He did the monster match, the monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. It caught on in a flash. He did the match. It was the monster match. The zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. The guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking, we were all digging the sounds Igor on chains, backed by his baying hounds The coffin bangers were about to arrive With their vocal proof, the crib Kicker by, they did the mash He did the monster mash, the monster mash It was a graveyard smash, he did the mash He caught on in a flash, he did the mash He did the monster mash out of his coffin, Drax's voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. He opened the lid, he shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist is now the match. It's now the monster match, the monster match. And it's a graveyard smash, it's a match. It caught on in a flash, it's now the match. It's the monster mash now Everything's cool, Drax a part of the band And my monster mash is the hit of the land For you, the living, this mash was meant to When you get to my door Tell the forest sent you, then you can mash Then you can monster mash, the monster mash And do the graveyard smash, and you can mash It'll cash on in a flash, then you can mash You do the monster mash, and you can mash you come on to mash the monster mash And do the graveyard smash And you can mash He'll catch on in the flash And you can mash You do the monster You do the monster mash There you go, monster mash uh, I think I was, I don't know uh, but, but, but just spin, just a new spin on an old favorite right there. That's what I was doing. That's what I was doing there. Yeah, I think it works better that way myself. 
I just like I looked at the I just looked it up right before the show and I started playing and went, I don't want to play it like the I don't want to do that. I wonder how else I could do this song. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think I was I think that's a better choice of way to I think I improved it. I think I I I mean it was pretty awesome when it came out, but we never I mean how many times have you heard that song? Anyway. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da da da. Oh, some people like it too. Good, good, good. Yeah. Anyway, I was quite happy when I came up with that minutes before the show. I like that. I might have. Yeah, I might have to give that another run and post it on something. I don't know. I don't know. I never knew what to do with all this. Oh, ba da ba. Uh, how are we doing for... T- okay, another 10 minutes, and I'm going to debut uh, the next Arrogant Worms Patreon song. Because I wrote it, and I've been recording it, so it's in my head right now. So you get a sneak peek. You're going to get a sneak peek. Yep, sneak peek. Uh, let's go to see if I have any more questions. No, d- d- nope, no questions in the, in, the, in the stream yet, but people seem to be enjoying that version of Monster Mash, which I appreciate. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Show notes. Uh, okay, I only have a couple more questions, so I hope I hope some people ask questions later. Uh, Karen K. Dewar asked, "Is a hot dog a sandwich?" Is a hot dog? See, this is a perennial question. I think it's used uh, in debating debating clubs and stuff like that. Uh, is a hot dog a sandwich? This all gets back uh, to fundamental issues of uh, definition right my definition is this how do you define something what is the thinginess of a thing right what makes a sandwich a sandwich what makes a hot dog a hot dog and are they separate things is there overlap is a hot dog both a hot dog and a sandwich hmm perhaps i think that would probably be the way i would go here so a sandwich usually two pieces of bread and meat in the middle not always not always people so you might be stuck to, oh, that's a sandwich. No, no, no. What about an open face sandwich? Is that a sandwich? It has sandwich in its name. It only has one side. It only has one side, right? And then gravy and stuff. And you don't even eat it with your hands. You eat it with a fork and a knife. So already this concept of sandwichness is just getting blown apart, right? And I've just given one example, right? Right? That's, you know. Uh, so a hot dog, I would say a hot dog is more of a sandwich than an open face sandwich. If you want to use defining criteria of two pieces of bread and meat, but I've already give, shown you that that is an incomplete definition of sandwich. There are things with sandwich nisses, you know, without those two pieces of bread. You don't even have to have meat, right? You could have like veggies in it, right? What if you had three pieces of bread on top of each other? Is that a sandwich? Is that a, a bread sandwich? I don't know. Triple decker sandwiches with three levels. So maybe it's the fact that there is a level of bread and then another level of something else, right? But are you allowed to fold that bread? Is that what eliminates the sandwichness, right? Does that turn it into like a burrito or a hot dog, for example, which is in a bun? Can a sandwich not be in a bun? I've had I've had a, I've had something in a bun and called it a sandwich before. Am I supposed to? What am I supposed? A sub, I guess. I'm supposed to call it a sub or a hoagie or something. But is a hoagie a sandwich? I would say this concept of sandwichness is quite broad, actually, quite broad and flexible. And I think at the edges of that, you can include a hot dog in those conceptions of sandwichness. But the idea of a hot dog, though, is a separate one in consciousness, right? Like when we say a hot dog, we have a very specific image of what a hot dog should be. Like a hamburger used to be a hamburger sandwich, but now we think of a hamburger as a separate entity, right? We don't think of a sandwich because it's got its own thinginess. And a hot dog also has that. And now I'm convincing myself that a hot dog is a separate thing and not a sandwich because we all have a different place and a different category that we've created for hot dogs, right? You could have a hot dog restaurant. It'd be different than a sandwich restaurant. But a sandwich restaurant, could a sandwich restaurant serve hot dogs? I don't think they would. Anyway, I, there's, no, there's no actual answer to this. It all depends on these conceptions that you have and that you bring forth yourself. We all have a slightly different conception of what a hot dog is and a sandwich is. It is not a scientifically derived term. No, it's a culturally constructed term. So there you go. That's my paper today on uh, on sandwiches uh, and uh, hot dogs. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, I, my citations, I'll post my citations later. Okay, there you go. I, I'm, I'm interested to see if there's any uh, any other opinions uh, out in out in the land there. Oh, Scott's saying there's a lack of sandwich songs in this world. Is there? Hmm. 
Hmm. I was. I think I had my bologna on my list today. I might even do that next. Uh, is there not enough sandwich songs? I'm thinking about that. The Arrogant Worms, do we have a sandwich song? Do we not have a song about sandwiches? Huh, that seems... That seems a terrible omission. Okay, well, thanks for pointing that out, Scott. I'm concerned about this. Uh, oh, and... Uh, non de plume. Non de plume is saying it's a taco, right? Yeah, see? Taco. Once again, taco. What's the difference between a taco and a hot dog? They're both folded bread, right? Or folded... Because taco is really on flat bread. A flat bread. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, spaghetti. Okay. Uh, hot dogs are sideways sandwiches. That You see, Scott's thinking... He's a little broader, a little op more open, a little more open than some other people. Uh, okay, uh, sp sp spaghetti sandwiches are more spaghetti than sandwich. Hmm, interesting. Are they? Anyway, I think, I think, uh, I think we've really started something here. I don't think we finished it, but like I said, I don't think you can finish something like this because it's all, mm -hmm. all about those parameters and exceptions. Yep. Uh, okay. I thought. Let me take a look. If I have, did I put that on my? Uh, I thought I put it there. Where did I put it? I thought I put my balloon. Okay, so give me a second here. I thought I would put my balloon on my list, but I didn't. I was thinking of doing that one today. I'm going to do it because we talked about sandwiches. So I'm going to sing my balloon by the great, uh, the great Weird Al. Here we go. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, let's see how this one goes. I think it's a little higher than that. But... Ah, come on, capo. Oh, my little hungry one, hungry one, open up a package of my bologna. Oh, I think the toast is done, the toast is done, so top it up a little of my bologna. Never gonna stop, beat it up, such a tasty stack, I always need too much, throw it up, but I'll soon be back for my, my. Mustard now, show me how. Spread it on a little of this bologna, hoping that we don't run out. Don't run out. If we do, I'm sure that I'll miss bologna. Never gonna stop. Eat it up, touch this tasty stack. Always oh, eat too much, then throw up. And I'll soon be back for my, 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 my. Woo! Going through the market now, the market now. I'm the city's biggest bologna buyer. Walking down the shopping aisles, the shopping aisles. Filling up my basket with Oscar Mayer. Never gonna stop, eat it up. Such a tasty snack, I always eat too much. Throw it up, but soon I'll be back from my. There you go, my bologna. There you go. There's a sandwich song for you. I mean, it was more, it was centered around bologna, but uh, sandwich making featured prominently in the song. Once again, is that a sandwich song? Is that a meat song? Is it a little bit of both? Hmm. It's mainly a meat song, but I think, I think it, I think you could, you could sneak it in. If you were doing like a, um, a sandwich themed concert, I, th I don't think anyone would go, hey, my bologna doesn't fit. I think it would fit. Oh, we're at the halfway mark. We're at 30 minutes. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to check the check the chat here. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. So Scott's asking favorite performance of all time. Mm -hmm. That I've seen? Oh, I'm trying to think. Jeez, I'm stuck on that one. I'm going to let that one brew. Let that one brew. Maybe, maybe something will pop up in my head. Maybe something will pop up. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, everyone. So uh, the Arrogant Worms 
have a Patreon. Uh, it's all right. It's not as good as my Patreon because my Patreon has only songs about cats, which is pretty much the main topic to write about. Uh, but it was my turn this month to write a uh, worm song. Um, so I did. And I wrote one. This is, um, you know, while well, we're chatting here. So sometimes... Uh, it gets hard because you know I've we've I've written songs about almost every wor- like funny topic you can think. Obviously, I miss sandwiches somehow. Weird Al then, but I I did it. I miss sandwiches. So thanks. I, I, I at least have one new topic. So sometimes I find it really hard to get an idea, uh, and sometimes what I do is I just I just start strumming like I was strumming this, and I just start singing words. But in a while I'm singing the words that I'm strumming the car. What about goldfish? I don't like them. I wish they could just go swimming. Like, like stuff like that. So maybe I'd end up with a goldfish song there. It almost never works, but it has worked a few times. And this is one of the times where that worked. Uh, because the very first line of this song, when I'm singing it to you, it just popped up as I was strumming. And then I had to write the rest of the song. You might listen to that and go, well... Hmm, at the end of the song, like, this is not a good technique, Trevor. You should actually think more about your ideas. But maybe, maybe you'll go, hey, that's great, because that song was all right. So this one here uh, came up with that way. I just kept on strumming and strumming, and the first line came out, and then I went, oh, I'm going to write more about, I'm going to finish this thing. And I, I did, I put, I put a lot of effort in this one, by the way. So if you don't like it, keep it to yourself, because it'll crush me. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I get the lyrics. I haven't quite memorized it since it's brand new. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone sitting. Here we go. What's up with gravity? Why you gotta bring everybody down? You made my tasty ice cream fall right off the cone. You make the ball go not so far after I have thrown. I'm at the store and need to get something from the top shelf. But because of you, I don't jump high and I have to ask for help. What's up with gravity? Why you gotta bring everybody down? What's up with gravity? I'm tired of being stuck on the ground. You make people drop their phones. You flatten all their hair. You made bird poop fall from the sky right on my friend Pierre. You drop apples on people's heads. You break dishes and jars. And it's because of you that I cannot float to Mars. What's up with gravity? Why you gotta bring everybody down? What's up with gravity? I'm tired of being stuck on the ground. What's up with gravity? Why you gotta bring everybody down? What's up with gravity? I'd rather be floating around. Even I admit that you are an attractive force. But being rid of you would be so great. Nobody would need facelifts. And also, of course, you could lose an awful lot of weight. What's up with gravity? Why you gotta bring everybody down? What's up with gravity? I'm tired of being stuck on the ground. What's up with gravity? Why you gotta bring everybody down? What's up with gravity? I'd rather be floating around. What's up? What's up? What's up with gravity? 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 Why you gotta bring us all down? There you go, world debut. 
will debut. Not even my cats have heard that one because I because I've been doing all the work on it out in the coach house and they, they I haven't brought any of them in. Ba 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 da ba boom boom boom. Okay. Oh, Carolyn popped in. There you go. Oh, Carolyn like my haircut. Thanks. Thanks. I was getting scruffy. Okay. Very nice. Oh, a couple people like this song. Okay, good. Oh, 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 and Gary. Gary's having triple bypass surgery. Oh, geez. Wow. Hope he's. Hope he does well. There you go, world debut. Uh, song about gravity, kind of against gravity. Just wondering what gravity's deal is, really. What's gravity's deal? Like, what does it do that? Why does it do that? Okay. Uh, yeah, gravity sucks, says BJ. Uh, oh, BJ's here, so I can answer her question. Bop, bop, bop. So yeah, that'll be. Uh, yeah, I've put some really cool uh, backups on it, and I recorded about uh, four guitar parts. All of them just like, so it sounds really jangly. Yeah, it's uh, the closest I'm ever going to be doing uh, to a to singing like Morrissey, I think. Okay, what do I have? Oh, uh, 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 uh. so. Uh, uh, Beverly Beverly asked uh, on the internet there on the Facebook on the book of faces uh, can you sing happy birthday for me it's a few days early but I can always replay it on Saturday oh so but you now you're here so I don't know if you want to leave for a few minutes so that you can have the excitement of hearing it for the like on your birthday uh, I, I'm going to do it now because I'm committed I'm locked in I'm now locked in. Uh, so if anyone wants to... So it's for Beverly. It's a happy, happy birthday song. Big hit for the Aryan Worms. Big hit. Uh, who knew so many people had birthdays? Whew, that was lucky. It's like when we put out the Christmas album and then we found out Christmas happened every year. Awesome stuff. Awesome. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 happy, happy birthday song. Uh, so I, I often tell the story about this one. So I wrote this song... Uh, because I was trying to figure some way for the worms to get radio play because no one would play us. Uh, CBC would play us occasionally. But I was, thinking, I was trying to th think if there could be commercial radio play. And a lot of the commercial stations back in the 80s and 90s, they all have, hey, it's birthday time. And then they would play, hey, it's your birthday. It's my birthday too, yeah. Which is not the Beatles' best work, nor is it a great, really great birthday song, but that's what they'd always play. And I thought, oh, I could write a funny birthday song and they'll all play it. And I wrote it. And we we even sent it out to them. This is back when you had to like put it on CDs and ship it and all that crap. And nobody played it. Nobody. And then we played it a couple times live, and it got like a middle reaction. Like it was decent, but not. But you know, we had enough hits, so it just dropped off the set list. We forgot all about that. We forgot all about it. And then when the uh, YouTube started becoming big, someone sent me an email and said, "Hey, your happy happy birthday song is doing great on YouTube." And I said, "Well, we didn't put it there." And then we saw that someone had made a video of it and it was getting like hundreds of thousands of hits. And then it, it, it's way over a hundred million if you, now if you put all the versions together just on YouTube. Anyway, and we did nothing. We had, you know, the marketing we tried desperately failed, right? It was like, we're so bad, so bad at marketing. So just terrible. And so what happened instead is just randomly somebody put it on the internet and it took off without us ever doing anything. Yeah, that fun? That's a fun story. That's a fun story. Yep. So sometimes, that's the lesson in life is sometimes uh, you just get lucky. Yeah, just count on luck. It'll get you through. Yep. Yep. You don't necessarily have to be great at something like marketing. You can just go, hey, maybe somebody else will do that for me. Randomly, some random stranger out in the universe. Okay. So uh, for Beverly or BJ, which 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 we say? Should we say Bev, Beverly, or BJ? I just want to make sure everyone gets it right. I'll wait a second. If you don't give me an answer, though, I'm I'm just gonna start eventually. I'm just I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna vamp. Either well that doesn't help me. I wanted I wanted a ah, and I said three things too. 
Any one of those. Uh, happy birthday, happy birthday. Beverly. Let's do Beverly, because I think I think the, uh, the syllables will actually help. Once a year we celebrate with stupid hats and plastic plates The fact that you were able to make another trip around the sun And the whole clan gathers round, gifts of laughter to abound We let out a joyful sound and sing that stupid song Happy birthday, now you're one year older Happy birthday, your life still isn't over Happy birthday, you did not accomplish much But you didn't die this year, I guess that's good enough So let's drink to your fading health and hope you don't remind yourself Chance of finding fame and wealth decrease with every year Cause if you like you're doing laps, eating food and taking naps Hoping that someday perhaps your life's so old some cheer Happy birthday, what have you done that matters? Happy birthday, you're starting to get fatter Happy birthday, it's downhill from now on Try to do remind yourself your best years are all gone If cryogenics were all free, then you could live like Walt Disney Live all of eternity inside a block of ice But instead your time is set, this is the only life you get Though it hasn't ended yet, sometimes you wish it might Happy birthday, you wish you had more money Happy birthday, your life's so sad, it's funny Happy birthday, how much more can you take? But your friends are hungry, so just cut the stupid cake Happy birthday, happy birthday There you go. Happy birthday in a couple of days. Yeah, in a few days. That's right. Do, 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 do. <sighs> oh, Scott still pushing the sandwich angle. He's saying sandwich songs equal radio play. That's right. That's why all the boy bands had sandwich songs, right? Girl, girl, what you want right now is a sandwich. I can make you a wonderful sandwich, girl. Ooh, sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It was, you couldn't get away from them on the radio all the time. Those damn sandwich songs. Damn sandwich songs. Uh, oh, Mia. Mia asked an interesting question. Uh, do you make any money off all those happy birthday uh, hits? Well, good, because now I get to bore you with uh, with some part of uh, how the music business works or does not work. So at the start, we got nothing. But then services started coming out and YouTube started having to pay money to songwriters. And so then we were eventually able to work out, find one of these things and you register all your songs. And then you collect like these little tiny micro pennies and they all add up to a little tiny bit of money that you get. So we make a little tiny bit of money off of it. So we don't make nothing. We make some money off of it, but it's not a lot of money. That's the answer. Uh, but originally, we made nothing, which, but quite frankly, that was exactly how much money we were making off that song beforehand. So it wasn't like a terrible thing. But then, yeah, now we actually get a little bit, which is nice. You know, it's nice to get a little something. All those micro pennies. I mean, they, they add up to mega pennies, right? Still only worth a cent. I haven't, I should really be drinking more water. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay. Uh, I'll probably just do two more songs because uh, I'm working more tonight. I'm doing uh, Write a Song With Me in an hour. Uh, oh, I should find the link to that and put it in the damn th thing, shouldn't I? That's what a professional would do. Marketing, Trevor. Marketing. Uh, so if you want to write a Halloween song with me, we do it in an hour. Then uh, And then at the end, I record it and then I email it to you later. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, which one of these? I think it's this one here. I think it's this ticket like copy and then i'll uh, uh 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 i gotta go to this chat and then i gotta i can only really put it in the uh, uh control control v there it is bump so that should be it there if you want to go and go hang out with me make a song tonight this will be doing at 8 p.m eastern time and then in uh a couple weeks two weeks i've got another one of my zoom shows uh which no one has bought a ticket to yet because all the links i sent out were the wrong links and like I said earlier, I was feeling a little sad for myself until I realized that no one was coming and buying tickets because I hadn't provided any possible way for somebody to accomplish that. Marketing, once again, that's actually, that's even beyond marketing. That was just, that's just basic, you know, making something right. 
Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, mentor brings up. I I'm just firing assistants. Like three or four assistants have to be fired every day, just for all the incompetence going on around here. I mean, I wish I could find some sort of common theme for all of these mistakes that happen in my business, but I it's eluded me so far. It's totally eluded me. I don't I don't know what it could be. Uh, but I've put it up now. Uh, there's a Facebook event page for that, and it and I finally put it up on my calendar as well, which is a smart thing to do, right? So if you go to my website. Um, started a new comedy course uh, last night, last one of the years. I was really excited to get a, a class. It was awesome because I was worried because people are going out now and seeing people in human form. Uh, but I got one. And uh, I'll do, do another one in January. I'm hoping that uh, that one should be a little easier to get attendance for because people will be desperate for anything to do because it's January and they won't want to go outside. So if you do want to take a course, just send me an email sometime. I'll do another one in January on the Zoom. Uh, I'm going to do two more songs. I don't know what they are yet. Let me go to my list. I always have a little list that I do ahead of time. And you can make requests now if you want for something for me to end with. Uh, 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 uh. Do I have any more on my list that I actually want to do? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh, I'll do this one. I'm going to do Johnny Came Home Headless because it's another sort of kind of Halloween-y type of worm song. So I'm going to do that one. Yeah, so uh, request away. I'll pick the request that I feel like doing. That's my criteria. Johnny was a tall man, but his memory was short. He'd forget to duck at doorways, and often he'd get hurt. I took good care of him, for he had no family. Actually, he did, but he forgot who they'd be. Johnny often liked to go out on the town, forget where he'd be going, so he'd just wander around. I knew that he was back, cause I would hear the smack of his head hitting the doorway, but tonight it was a laugh. Johnny came home headless, it was a great disgrace But wherever it's a lion, there's a smile upon his face I should have seen it coming, he finally lost his mind But if his head don't turn up soon, then all his hats are mine Johnny came towards me, but suddenly he stopped As if trying to think of something, but having no luck Still he didn't notice that his head weren't there Till he took out a brush and tried to comb his hair I said, Johnny, where's your cranium? But he didn't seem to know He just shrugged his shoulders and tried to find his nose The sight of him there topless made me start to cry For I feared we'd ne'er again see eye to eye Johnny came home headless, it was a great disgrace Or wherever it's a lion, there's a smile upon his face I should have seen it coming he should have stayed in bed For now I fear he'll spend his life Just trying to get ahead Refusing to believe That he had split for good His lower half and me Searched the neighborhood It soon became apparent That his head we wouldn't find it He could not retrace his steps He was absent-minded Well years went by till late one night I heard a voice I swore Was Johnny calling out for me I flung open the door Johnny's head was home It took a taxi cab Alas it was too late His body had gone bad Johnny's head was homeless, his body was cremated The funeral was harder than he had anticipated I should have seen it coming, he said in his eulogy But never thought I'd have to say, I ain't got nobody I ain't got nobody Johnny came home headless, it was a great disgrace But now his head is on a shelf, a smile upon his face Now his head is on a shelf, a smile upon his face There you go, Johnny came home headless True story, true story, true story Terrible thing to witness, terrible thing Ba ba da ba ba da 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 da. Uh, well, thanks everyone for coming out. I'm gonna do one more song. 
I don't, th I don't see anything any, did I, am I missing? Uh, ba, ba, ba. No, no requests, no requests. Well, I'm just gonna pick one then. I'll pick one. I wouldn't see if there's any more questions, concerns, queries. I think I plugged all the things I have to plug. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm waiting another second. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna do, well, here, I'll do this one. I'll do, I'll do a cover. I'll land with a cover. Uh, this is one I'm working out for my duo, my duo. We might, we might do a stream on Sunday, me and the other guy in the duo, but we're just going to, uh, oh, oh, now all the requests come in right as I'm setting up my song here. And I think I did Bob recently. There was another one. There was, there was another, oh, oh, I don't have the multi, sorry, I'm not watching the multi stream. I apologize to all the Facebook people. I, I switched to the Twitch stream just on my computer here so I could post that one thing. And then I, uh, oh my God, it's just, a, I'm just, just, just a mess. Uh, I think I did, I think I did Bob really recently. So I think I'm going to do Cal. Alex, who's off on the, uh, off on YouTube. Not many people, a couple people on YouTube. Uh, I will do, I will do, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do I am Cal. I'm going to do Cal. It's because uh, it's Halloween-y because you could dress up as a cow. Uh, zombie cow. You could have a zombie cow too. That would be frightening. That'd be frightening. Uh, yeah. So hopefully, uh, hopefully some, I'll see some of you tonight at the songwriting thing. Uh, I will, I will post the song. So even if you're not at it, I'll give you a, a chance to hear it or I might even play it. Maybe I'll, I'll try to play it next stream. How about that? How about that for commitment? And I hope it doesn't suck. Jeez. That'd be embarrassing. Oh, well, I'm committed now. I'm committed now. Uh, 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 I am Cal, written by the great, the great Mike McCormick. He's in a group called The Arrogant Worms. Uh, he, he stopped by the stream last week, if you were here. That was really exciting. Everyone got really excited to see Mike. Uh, I think Mike has said that he might start streaming again, so I'll keep you posted on that if I hear any updates. Uh, he might have already. He's even worse at marketing than I am, so it's quite possible he has started again, and I don't know about it because he didn't tell me. Do... Uh, thanks, everyone. Yeah, I'll see you next week. I am cow, hear me moo. I weigh twice as much as you. And I look good on the barbecue. Yogurt, curd, cream, cheese, and butters made from liquid from my otters, I am cow, I am cow, hear me moo. I am cow, eating grass, methane gas comes out my ass, and out my muzzle when I bailed. All the ozone layers thinner from the outcome of my dinner. I am cow, I am cow, I've got gas. I am cow, here I stand, by and wide upon this land. And I am living everywhere. From BC to Newfoundland, you can squeeze my teats by hand. I am cow, 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 I am cow. I am cow. Uh, thanks for coming down. Good to see everybody, and uh, see y'all soon. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, good. So people have some woos and some thanks. That's always nice. Always nice for some woos and some thanks. Ba, 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 ba. And I'm going to go press the end.